Hi, my name is Professor uh, Gail Illich, and I'm here to uh, orient you to Math 2414 Calculus 2 here at McLennan Community College. I will be uh, your instructor for the course, and I want to help you feel welcome and also kind of get an idea of what of what's, we're going to be doing in the class. So the idea, the objective of the orientation is to look quickly at the syllabus, talk about uh, Google Plus, and then also to take a look at the course website uh, at PearsonMyLab and Mastering.com. So if you're at this video, you've already gotten to the syllabus at Blackboard and you're kind of on step two here, you're watching the streaming video. And I'm not going to read the syllabus to you. You're in Cal 2. This is a sophomore level class. This is probably one of the hardest classes we offer here at MCC. So I know that you are ready to get busy on the material. Uh, you're probably wondering how the grades are calculated. Uh, we will have homework, quizzes, a research project, a final exam, and unit exams. And this is a little bit different. I'm doing the quizzes this time and this, these are where you don't have the help me solve it. You have to kind of, they're like practice for the test. You need to be able to uh, do questions similar to the homework in a timed fashion where you're not looking back at other things and you have to quickly, you know, go through and uh, practice showing your work, either taking a photo or typing in the answer and, the, and then, um, uh, you know, get used to the testing environment because I want to make sure that you leave Cal 2 with skills to integrate, differentiate, use sequences and series, apply some of the topics that we learn in here, and I, I need to make sure those skills are solid, and I'll do that through the homeworks, the quizzes, and the tests. And MCC has a Scholars Day uh, in each semester, and I would like each student in this class, either as a group or uh, individually to present, to create and present a uh, poster. And we will discuss that later as the semester progresses, but that will be 10% of your final grade. Uh, your quiz is, uh, I will drop three. That, and um, your homework, you can make 100 on it because you can keep, you get extra chances to try and to, uh, you know, go back and click on a similar exercise. So that homework average should be 100. I would expect this research project, you'll do everything you need, so that'll be a nice grade. Uh, the unit exams will have four unit exams. Their average will be 25% of your grade. And then we have a face-to-face -face oral exam that you have to meet with me one time through video conference, either on Google Plus or FaceTime. Uh, if you don't have those capabilities, you don't want to mess around with it, you can go to the uh, math lab at MCC and they will set you up to do that. So we will have, this is how your grades will be broken down. Lots of opportunities for success. We've got um, the the four exams is 25%, that average. The final is 25%, so there's 50%. The oral exam is 10%, so 60, 70 for the research, up to 70% for the research project, and then the homework and the quizzes, another 30% to make up full 100%. The way that uh, you are... Um, Attendance is taken is by the online submission of your homework. So I'll let you read through the rest of this information. You will find there's an assignment page. Each section has both a homework and a quiz that is due by this date. So you should watch the video lecture well before this date and then attempt the homework. And then once you make up to an 80% on the homework, you can take the quiz. Uh, and then, then you can start on the next assignment. So you're really going to, this, I, Treat it like a class that meets three times a week, and you want to stick true to these due dates so you can progress through this semester uh, successfully. Um, this is how you logged on. And then we'll go to this idea of Google Hangout, which I'm going to, instead of showing you with this uh, document, I'm going to go ahead and show you what Google Hangout looks like. Uh, and just bringing to your attention the last three pages of the syllabus give you lots of uh, tips for success on how to um, manage the course and to, of course, contact me whenever you're starting to feel a little um, any type of trouble. Please contact me through my cell phone. You can call me, you can text me, or you can email me, and I will do my best to get back to you and, and get you uh, on the, along the way. 
Okay, so this is Google Plus. You should use uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, when you're working in Google. And if you look, you have an inbox, and um, this is your Gmail. That is your MCC email is a Gmail. So if you log into your MCC uh, Gmail, you should get a window that looks something like this. Up here, you'll see this is plus Gale. Yours may just say plus you. You want to plus yourself, meaning add the ability to access all of the Google Plus ideas, which is kind of a high-powered social network where you can really do lots of interesting things. The big thing that we'll use it for in this class is the Google Hangouts, which are my video conference office hours where more than one student can meet at a time. I want to draw your attention to this um, the nine squares here that are in a form of a square. This is the apps button and this is um, this is always in your Chrome browser when you're logged in. You can get to your Google Plus, you can get to Maps or even your Google Drive. I don't know if you can if you keep documents or pictures or all different types of things that you can keep on your Google Drive spreadsheets. You can access YouTube from here if you, um, you, your account to YouTube can actually link to your Google Plus account. So I can click here at the Google Plus or I actually already have Google Plus up right here. And I just want to show you this again is just like a, if you click down here, this is sort of a high powered um, social networking site. You have a profile and um, you can link up with people. You manage people by putting them in circles. So I will put you guys in a calculus two circle um, and you'll need, want to add me to a circle so that we can communicate through Google+. Plus. So what you will see sometimes on this, and you might also get an email about it, is that I, whenever I have online office hours, I will uh, post an invitation and you will receive it if we're in the same circle and you can, or if we're in if we're if I if it's a circle that you're in that I've selected to have the hangout with and you would just join the hangout and this will join you into the video conference with me we can also just um, you know chat through the through the keyboard with the hangout so the hangout can either be video or it can be chat and the key is if this little green sort of uh, quotation symbol. If you click on that, this is where you can start either to chat or to um, have a video call with your friends. You can start a party, which is where we can have at least 10 people all at once in the video conference. Okay, so that's a little bit about Google+. Plus. It's quite it's a pretty fascinating program. There's a lot to learn. Um, we're just going to use little parts of it, but perhaps in other classes you may uh, learn more to do with that uh, um, program. Okay, and so now we're going to go to the course. Uh, this is the, the course. We, you always have the announcements that you can check when you first walk in. The Semester of the Glance has your uh, homework assignments there. And then I went ahead and opened up this lessons button where I talked to you about how I would like you to work through the course. You should always look at the lecture videos. Uh, they can be a little bit tedious to watch, but you can take breaks. Um, and take your notes. If you notice in section 6.1 there are three parts to the video. You can either use the blank notes or the complete notes to fill it in as you watch the videos to help you work the homework. So you'll just click on a video. These are YouTube videos so you shouldn't have too much trouble. Click on the video, click on the notes, and then get started. So please make sure that you watch the video and complete the notes or you know have the notes, have your own notes before you start doing the homework. I have formula sheets here that you may find helpful. Okay, when you want to go to a homework or a quiz or a test, you click on the homework and test button. Now, it might be to your benefit to show all, and then you'll see that you have an orientation, then you have a 6-1 homework, and you also have a quiz for 6-1. You have to score an 80 on the 6-1 assignment before you can attempt this, and um, like on 6-1, you have to make 100 on the online orientation before you can start 6-1. So this, um, when you click on section 6-1, I'll just show you. Um, it will allow me to continue since I'm an instructor. This is what your um, homework looks like. And I just want to draw your attention to question number four. On question number four, you are going to be asked to show your work. And, and this is, you need to practice either taking a picture with your camera. 
Um, I sometimes I think that I, I think the fastest way there's several ways that you can do this. You can work the problem and then use the math palette to quickly type in your work. Or if you handwrite your work with it, with you know, make it sure it's pretty big and and dark, and then grab your phone and take a photo with it and email it to yourself in a small size. So it needs to be under 200 uh, kilobytes, under 200 kilobytes, which on my, my iPhone would be like a medium. I think I, I practiced this and it worked with a medium. Then I just emailed it to myself and then dragged it to my computer and inserted the picture. Um, the only trouble with this is, you know, you're going to have to, like during the quiz, you'll have two questions and you have 20 minutes. So there, you're going to need to allow a little bit of time for uh, typing in or uploading the pictures, the video, uh, the the um, program to the program. So you're going to want to practice this, and that's what this problem is for, to just help you practice uh, working it. So it won't, you won't be able to see whether you got it right or not because, well, it will show you if you got it right, but I still need to grade your show work on the quizzes. So you'll, sometimes you'll see an exclamation point on the grading, and that's because I need to look at it and make sure that you, um, you did your show work correctly. So once you do a problem, you can type in the answer here, and then also if it asks for show work, you would show your work and then save it. And then... Um, it might give you a little warning. And so we closed out of that, and that's how you do the online homework. Okay, uh, there's really, you can check your grades here. We have a discussion tab uh, where we can do our introductions as well as any course questions. Or um, here, if you're, if you're having trouble getting the work to show, I encourage students to write, if they have successful, how they did it. And if they're having trouble, maybe post a question and we can work that out for you because we want to make sure that we can see your work and, and um, I can then provide feedback to you on how it's going. Okay, uh, this, of course, just would be another place to find your syllabus and my contact information. And the textbook is also available completely online and so you can take a look at the textbook um, as well. All right so this was just a brief introduction. You need to get busy looking at the lessons, starting the video for uh, section 6.1 and then getting on that homework. So good luck to you all and I look forward to working with you this semester and interacting with you through email, text, voicemail, I mean regular uh, telephone conversations, video conferencing, or FaceTime. Any of those methods will be a great way for me to contact you, and I look forward to helping you learn Calculus 2 this semester.